Welcome back to the mess in the shop. Let me show you what I'm working on. This is a GT35R that I've upgraded. This compressor wheel is for the Precision 6766, but it's cut down to a two millimeter super back on the back of the wheel so that it can be converted to work on a GT35R dual ball bearing turbo. These plates, I had these made. I'll link to those in the description box. I've got a couple pieces to be able to build these. I, basically, I have everything to build the cartridges. I just don't have these housings, so I machine these. This plate is a TO4S plate. It's cut for an O-ring so that you can seal your TO4S plate to your TO4S compressor housing, which Garrett never did, which I think was a huge mistake. This is the T51R cover that I made. He just had a regular TO4S cover and I machined it out to be a T51R cover. It was already polished before I started messing with it. And I just did the sleeve and I machined it out for our new compressor wheel. Here is the turbo with the compressor housing mounted. I'll show you how easy this thing spins. This turbo is good for about 950 horsepower. I don't know for sure that it will make it on this T3.82 turbine housing, but that can be changed out. We can go up to a 1.06 with that if we wanted to. And you could also change the turbine housings to other variations of T4. I have a T4 set up on my car. It's a T4.82 that's custom made for a GT35R. And then I just machined it out for the 67 millimeter turbine, same turbine that's in this turbo. The compressor wheel I did on mine is a 65.8 millimeter wheel rather than this one, which is a 67.4 millimeter compressor wheel. I'm gonna flip this over so you can see the other side. Now you can see the other side a little bit better. This turbine wheel is a 67 by 74 millimeter turbine. I had this custom made to fit ball, a ball bearing center cartridge for the GT35R. The whole purpose around this turbine wheel is to try to get the maximum size wheel we could fit inside of a GT35R center cartridge and to have as big of an inducer that we could on this to increase the spool as much as possible. Here's the turbine housing after I machined it out. If you want to build your own cartridge, I'll, I will link to all these parts. I have the turbine wheel. Uh, I think I'm out of compressor wheels, but I have similar wheels, but I'll link to the parts so you could build your own if you want to do that. You can kind of see a little bit what can be done with these. If you need any turbo repair parts, check out my Shopify store. It's shopturbolab.com.